why is this place that we're in now your happy place? There's so many people from different parts of the world and it's such a melting pot that reminds me of all the differences that the world has created and how similar we are in our interest to explore the universe. And that really makes me happy because everyone, despite their differences, has come together because of their common interest, which is this place. San Francisco. You spent 19 years in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And if you were to choose a moment, a story that inspires you and maybe will inspire the audience of 99 stories, mm -hmm. which one would that be? So it probably will be a story that happened outside Bangladesh. So three years ago, I was doing an internship at CERN outside Geneva. And on one of the last days, I was sitting in the cafeteria and I noticed a man who was walking with full leg support holding a pizza and his hands were incredibly shaky and i thought like why is someone like this in a place like that because in bangladesh people with disabilities are not such like not employed and i thought it's going to be interesting to hear his story so i sat next to him and then he started telling me the story of his life he is a man from morocco who used to love football a lot but because he couldn't walk and all his friends would play the sport that he loved most he was really really depressed and he left school but then he didn't stop learning he started learning how to program in his own computer and he got training so much that he was then working for building a software for the world's largest physics uh, particle physics laboratory so this uh, all all the story happened in uh, geneva yes you were in geneva mm -hmm. okay so that story really resonated with me because i have always seen people with disabilities getting the poorest form of treatment in bangladesh and i simply couldn't fathom someone with such a severe disability working at a place like cern so I thought if he can do what he did, why can't people with Bangladesh with disabilities not? And that moment reoriented the course of my life. I founded an organization that taught, among other things, computer skills to people with especially learning disabilities. And we have been teaching them twice a week for three years now. And uh, so this organization is in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. uh, you are teaching children not with uh, walking di disabilities, but with uh, learning disabilities. That's right. So you're you're taking it one step further, like mm -hmm. the the children that in the average perception would have the least chance of being even noticed. Mm -hmm. You teach them computer science. Yes. Uh, so most of our students have had no prior experience with computing like most of them have even never opened the computer in the first place and it's not like we are teaching them to be a great programmer we just believe that everyone has the right to learn how to use computers to just do the basic necessities of their life and just as we taught how to we were taught how to use computers people with disabilities should also have that same learning opportunity okay so if you were to tell the 99 stories audience a message like maybe signal this uh, this need of the of the children with disabilities to be noticed to have friends like your organization is basically a bunch of uh, high school students mm -hmm. that want to to be friends mm -hmm. with children with disabilities right what's what's your message to our audience regarding the needs of this these children that might be, as I said unnoticed unfortunately so one of the very important things is that most people with disabilities although they have various behavioral uh, deficiencies can actually understand when you appreciate them when you talk to them in a consenting ma uh, condescending manner so the general message is that we should all treat people with and without disabilities 
in a similar respect and dignity. We should never ever insult or downplay someone's role or purpose of life just because they have certain uh, deficiencies in their ability to comprehend the complexities of the world. So just being friendly, just being more compassionate towards people who are less fortunate than us is probably going to make this world a much more safer and warmer place for everyone uh, who are living because this world is very very small and the time that we have is very finite so instead of hating on people we should try to embrace people's differences and try to use everyone's abilities to make a significant difference in the lives of others thank you so much such a wonderful story this was a story by Labib Tazwar Rahman. If you were to recommend the movie to the 99 Stories audience, which one would it be? It would be Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Thank you. Let's watch it.